and sluts and losers, I have an announcement. This meeting is over because it has come to my attention that every single one of you sucks ass. Could you take a half step to the left? You're in Lexi's light. I'm waiting for Jamie. Today's the first day in like a year we can be within six feet of each other, and I want it to be perfect. It's a very sexy situation. Even though they've been dating all quarantine, they haven't had their second kiss yet. Hey, can you stop being excited about this? It's making me not excited about it. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, Mac, but I got the parking space fair and square. Uh, I wouldn't call that fair. You drug my toothpaste and I woke up at Six Flags. Once I'm there, I'm not just gonna leave. This means war, Lexi. Parking spot war. Oh, you're on, Preppy. Yeah, I will rob you of your sanity and lovingly nurse you back to health only to destroy you again. Good luck. <laughs> you got the lead. Congratulations. And congratulations to me, of course. You got the lead. And so did I. It's so not a competition. I don't know why everyone keeps saying that. It's just not. <laughs> now, I will be your guide to the world of Bayside Theater. Now, the hierarchy of drama club is intense. Three rules. No. 12 rules. Don't speak to people in the chorus. Never wear a stupid French hat. And what happens in the group chat stays in the group chat, which is why I already added you, so you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> I said you don't need to worry about your already... He is so mysterious. I have to find out who his brooding instructor is. Don't breathe on me like that. All right, look, you're talented. And you deserve cool opportunities like this. And I deserve 10% of all your earnings because this interaction makes me your agent now. I'm not even sure if I wanted to do this. Do I really need an agent? Well, you tell Phil he needs to take his head out of his ass long enough to see my client's a star. It's his eight-year-old daughter. She'll give him the message. Is that you? You smell amazing. Thanks. It's Pheromone by Tom Ford. Just don't wear it hiking or a coyote will mate with you. Cool. I can get people at the school to do anything. Did you notice how everyone here calls soda fizzy juice? I made that happen for a reason I don't remember. Wait, I forgot. Am I pretending to be my mom? No, because then your mom would be talking to your mom. <laughs> Sorry, I should have slapped you earlier. How'd you get an office at school? <laughs> the same way Max Landis got his career. I asked my dad. I don't know what poor old bet you two are making, but Aisha's right. Bayside mating rituals are always more complicated than they seem. Best to stay out of it and let it run its course. Stop it, Lexi. Crying in a bathroom stall is so basic. Lexi? Is that you? You. You ruined everything in your J.C. Penny Stern Frump collection sweater. Uh, it's Kelly Clarkson for Coles. Did it ever occur to you that maybe I have complicated feelings for Jamie and that all of Mac and Jamie's little schemes to win Pamela's heart existed within a larger scheme for me to win Jamie's? How could that possibly have occurred to me? Okay, let me break it down for you. I like Jamie, and for the past 11 months, I've been looking for the perfect opportunity to tell him. And if you had just minded your own business and let it run its course, Mac would have won Pamela's heart, Jamie would have been devastated, and I could have swooped in and revealed my feelings at the romantic ice cream social when Jamie was at his most vulnerable. I'm sorry, I really want to hear this, but I do have to pee. Hold it. When you interfered and made Pamela choose prematurely, it completely screwed up my lexicon. Lexicons are what I call my schemes. W wouldn't it be easier if you just ask him out? You're so judgmental. Wait, Lexi, you can do that? Let's just say there's a reason everybody turned on Jennifer Lawrence for no reason. And it's me. I'm the reason. Okay, I just put too much pressure on our second kiss. And... Honestly, it wasn't just the last year. This relationship is something I've thought about for like my whole life. And I really don't want to screw it up. And I'm sorry for making you think I didn't want to kiss you. Because I do. It's okay. I do too. Sometimes the imperfect is even more beautiful than the perfect. Get out of here! Here's 
for fundraising to help Lexi. Thank you, Ron. A speech is not necessary. We will be collecting donations for the Bayside Enrichment Fund. The PGA uses this money to make Bayside better for all of us by purchasing things like new computers and breast reductions for the lunch ladies. I will require a fleet of dedicated minions who are immune to verbal abuse. So, who's in? The only way we're gonna make it up there in time is if we can convince all these people to let us go ahead of them. Okay, I'm amazing at cutting in line. Step aside, Daisy. I got this. <laughs> and that is how it's done. <laughs> I know it's scary, but if your dreams don't scare you a little bit, then they aren't big enough. I read that on a pop-up ad for a dildo. Using psychological warfare, we will prey upon Jamie and Aisha's individual weaknesses to drive a wedge between them and destroy their relationship. Step one, we make Aisha think that all of Jamie's hot ex-girlfriends have sent him romantic birthday gifts. Aisha, competitive by nature, feels the first pangs of jealousy. Step two, we exploit Aisha's deepest insecurity. Prior to the party, I will break into her home and replace her heels with an identical pair, two sizes too small. The Grinch maneuver. Genius. Step three. Jamie's Swedish model ex-girlfriend suddenly pops out of a cake, her tiny little feet on full display. You sure are putting a lot of eggs into the insecure about her feet basket. Shut up. Okay, there's 97 more steps. Hello, teen line. Greetings. My name is Ruth Perfume. You don't know me. I'm in all different classes than you. <laughs> Sure. It's a big school. Bellily. Anyhow, I was dating this handsome jock, but then he started dating someone much hotter and famouser. The only problem is I'm still madly in love with him. Do you relate to this at all? Lexi, drop the act. I know it's you. Whatever do you mean? I'm Ruth Perfumi. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. I get that a lot because of my weird last name. Well, um... To answer your question, I kind of was in a similar situation. Except I wasn't hung up on the guy. To be honest, I'm just really upset with the new girl he's dating. You sexist! Why would you be mad at me? Uh, how? You were over there? Or did you just fall for the newest trick in the book? Oh my gosh, Lisa Turtle, it's me, Lexi. I was in the front row of your show at Paris Fashion Week. All oh, right, I remember you. You got kicked out for being completely nude. <laughs> you could see the outfit if you were wearing VR goggles, but I'm glad I made an impression. <laughs> Have a good day, queen. What the? I'm excited, but I'm nervous too. It's like I've been going to school with these people for years, and this is the first time they're gonna see me since my transition. The first time they're actually gonna see me as myself. But I'm scared. What if they judge me or don't accept me? I just don't want people to think I'm a joke. Oh, no. Today was hard. I threw up Gogur on my first day of school dress, so I had to wear my second day of school dress instead. But I got to be myself. And tomorrow, I get to do it all over again. You see, the thing I learned today is... Jamie! If you don't face your fears... Hey! Good to see you. Me too. Hi. And just say, this is me. And I don't care what anyone else thinks. Then you'll never be the person you were meant to be. You'll never be free.